everyone welcome back to another video in today's video we're going to do some samosa with potato filling and of course you're going to need some herbs the herbs I have is ajuin herbs are also known as karam I also have cumin and coriander and some ground masala no we're also going to use um, garlic green beans turmeric and butter if you want to continue watching this video guys don't forget to give this video a thumbs up comment if you like the video and subscribe to our channel let's get straight into this one now to make the filling we're going to use the potato and you want to use three nice size um, Irish potato your filling can be anything here but I'm just choosing to do this now if you don't want to do the potato filling you can do um like a veggie mince filling with um, tofu you see I do it all the time it being um, veggie ball on the channel you can use that um, as filling you know you season it up real good all right so we are going to peel these off what we're going to do guys is to boil these tender you want to make sure they are around the same size so they don't both um everything cooked together all right guys so to this um water here we're going to add some salt and you want to go in with your potatoes at this time and we all know that we don't cover the pot when we're boiling um potatoes it, the the starch that is in it is just going to boil over and cause a mess so you can boil the potatoes um in open pot until they're nice and tender now i'm going to go in with two cups and a half of all-purpose flour to this i'm going to add my caram seeds also my salt give that a mix now guys um the reason why i tried the samosa is because i tried it at a restaurant and i had to research the ingredients yes i'm one of those people who uh, when i go out to eat i look at the recipe i look not the recipe i look at what they put in it and i, I try it for myself at home so um actually i got the caram seeds from a indian store in jamaica yeah now i'm gonna add in some butter and the butter will replace the ghee because you know ghee is not vegan friendly Now to this, I'm going to bring my dough together with warm water. You want to knead it into a nice dough, guys. Not too sticky, not too tight. We're going to rest this dough and then we return. All right, so you can rest it for around 10 minutes before you start molding the samosas. While the potato over here is still cooking off, not yet ready, we're going to grind our cumin and coriander. Now in my mortar here I have salt. This is just to help to grind the herbs a little bit better. So I'm going to add in my cumin and coriander. So guys, I'm going to use some cilantro. I don't have fresh coriander, so I'm going to substitute for the cilantro. And of course, I have here some chopped peppers, scotch bonnet peppers, which I will, I didn't have any chili, so I just swap out for the scotch bonnet pepper. So you want to chop these fine. Let's take a look at our potatoes. And as you can see, they are tender enough as long as the fork can go through them easily. We're good right here. So we're going to strain off the water and return. All right, guys, now that our potato is drained off, we're going to mash our potatoes. I'll leave some for you. And remember your potatoes have to be hot for it to mash properly guys 
Now I'm going to go in with my oil. Now I'm going to go in with my garlic. My scotch bonnet pepper. My ground cumin and coriander. My masala. My cilantro. My turmeric. Then we make potato fries or potato bring all of those flavors into the potato we're going to go in with some salt here just a little more Taste it if it needs more salt. Taste it. Huh? And our green beans. Need some more salt? You need more salt, huh? Pepper? Need more salt? Yeah. Wait, wait, no, no, no. It, I can taste the salt and then eating it. That's not our salt. Okay. All right, guys. What you can do is to just allow this to cool down before we um assemble the samosa. Alright guys, let's take a look at our dough and trust me, it has relaxed and looks so nice. Alright, so when, when you divide the dough into four pieces, we're going to just roll it back into a ball. Now guys, we're going to roll out our dough and you want to make sure that you have some water beside you because we're going to use the water to seal the dough and also you want to make sure your oil is heating up all right so we're going to do one at a time As soon as you knead it out like that and flat it out, you're going to divide the dough in two. And you're going to put in your filling.
and you just kind of shape it up. Now that my oil is hot, I'm going to drop in my samosa. Okay guys, so far you want to turn them when they're golden brown. You see those nice two bubbles coming up? Oh my god, they're going to be so crispy and nice. Right, so these aren't ready yet. Let's go try again one last time. So you flat out your dough and you don't want, to, you, you don't want it to stick to the, the cutting board. So what you do is to sprinkle flour on it um, throughout and you roll. You want to make sure your edges also um, is flat. You divide the dough in two equal parts. Each equal part you fold in a triangle. Make sure you have your water so you can seal the edge. And you're going to fill the pocket now with the potato. Again, you get the dough in half like this and fold it in a triangle. Seal the edges. You should get a cone like that. And you're going to fill the center with your potato filling. Okay guys, you want to fry these until they're golden brown. You can drain these off on paper towel. This is it guys, we got ourselves some lovely samosa. Now we're going to eat some, it's still warm and nice. Oh my gosh. It's a crunch for me guys and you just dip it in your no the sauce that I made is tambourine sauce it's not I didn't I reduced the tambourine the tambourine um, sauce with ketchup I did not let it reduce all the way down because I still want it to be dippable right so this is it now mmm oh god guys this is so good isn't that one hot tambourine sauce Guys, so yesterday she made this. Mm -hmm. And all the seasoning, oh my god, it's seasoned to the to the bone. <laughs> Tastes so good. It tastes good. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Until next Thank time. You. Bye.